It's happening again. Part of Maine's forest is being threatened by an invasive insect. Yeah, this one is called the emerald ash borer. And as the name suggests, state foresters are sounding the alarm about one of our important tree species. Don Kerrigan took a walk to find the story. So there's a lot of ash trees here. So this ash trees are big and beautiful, grow all over Maine and are under attack. How big a threat is this right now? It is a huge, huge threat. So that is an adult emerald ash borer. A threat from this tiny insect, really the emerald so ash borer. Yeah, the invasive bird. insect from Asia has been it's spreading across the bird. eastern half of the country. Because this is relatively close to Portland, where we know there is emerald ash borer, we want to know when it spreads out here. Entomologist Colleen Tierling is with the Maine Department of Agriculture, Conservation and Forestry. She peeled back the bark on this tree at Maine Audubon in Falmouth as a way to lure the ash borer in if they're around. So far, they've been found in York County, in Cumberland, parts of Oxford and Aroostook. And they matter because the trees line many streets and parks. They're valuable for making furniture for making tool handles and baseball bats. And for Maine's native tribes, the brown ash is what forms their baskets. All of that threatened by the ash borer. There are some people that have said that it's probably the most, the biggest threat to, the, to forests in North America, the most expensive threat to forests. It's, you know, it's killed millions upon millions of trees, cost billions of dollars. One of the problems is that the tiny emerald ash borer can be very hard to spot until a tree is already heavily infested. So they're hoping that forest landowners can learn to look for the few signs that are available to watch out for trouble. We will be looking for something that looks like that. So that's, that's an emerald ash borer track. The ash borer larvae will work their way under the bark, eventually cutting off water to the tree. One of the only outward signs can be the holes from woodpeckers trying to eat them. Maine Audubon hopes people can learn from this tree. It will be cut down in the fall to see if the borers are there. Yeah. What little creepy crawly critter caused that? Brooke Telner is planning to use it to teach school kids in Portland about the borer and the trees. And the students will have the opportunity to ask questions, to notice and wonder and think about what could have caused that. Forest landowners will want to learn too, to protect what they have or at least slow the insect down. Are we at risk of losing a lot of those trees? Yes, certainly if we do nothing, we're, we're at risk of, of losing a lot of, a lot of ash trees. In Falmouth, Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine.